In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 from practice exam two for math 1050, in which case Lexi has 15 coins and the total amount is $2.70. Uh, this coin jar only consists of quarters and dimes. That's important observation there. And so how many, how many coins does Alexi have? Or I should say, yeah, how much of each of the coins does Alexi have? So this is going to be a mixture problem. It's going to lead to a systems of equations. So we might say D is equal to the number of dimes. So it does need to be an integer when we're done. Positive as well. I guess it could be zero. Uh, definitely not negative. We'll let Q be the number of quarters inside of Alexi's uh, piggy bank here. In which case, now we have to set up this system of equations. So it's a mixture problem. So Lexi has 15 quarters, uh, 15 coins total, some of which are quarters, some of which are dimes. So we're going to end up with D plus Q is equal to 15, right? Now we're going to use the weights of these coins to give us the second equation there because the total amount is going to be $2.70. So dimes contribute 10 cents each and quarters, to turn, uh, they contribute 25 cents each. Uh, and then this is going to equal $2.70. Uh, to make life a little bit easier, I'm going to scale the second equation by, that is, I'm going to times the second equation by 10, thus moving the decimal places over uh, by two spots. So the first equation is left unaffected. D plus Q is equal to 15. The second equation then becomes 10D plus 25Q is equal to 270. Uh, which I can also, I also recognize now in retrospect that all the coefficients in the second equation are also divisible by 5. 10, 25, and 270 are all divisible by 5. So let's actually divide this equation by 5. Uh, we want to use simplest coefficients as possible. Um, in which case, I also want to solve this equation, the system of equations, I should say. Um, I could use elimination. I could use substitution. I could use an augmented matrix. Uh, for the sake of example, I'm going to do this one by substitution. We're going to solve for D in the first equation. So when we rewrite our system one more time, we're th then going to get that D is equal to 15 minus Q. And then the second equation, when we divide everything by 5, we get 2D plus 5Q and this last one might, you know, take a little bit of arithmetic. Use your calculator if you if you want to. Uh, 270 divided by five is going to give you 54, like so. Now that we already solved for D, we're going to substitute this into the second equation and solve for Q in that situation. So we get two times 15 minus Q plus the five Q. This is equal to 54. For which then we distribute the two in this situation. Two times 15 is 30. We're going to get a negative two Q plus 5q is equal to 54. We're solving for q here. So we have these two like terms we're going to combine together. Um, let's get rid of the constant, move it to the other side, so subtract 30. Uh, so we're going to get 5q minus 2q, which is a 3q. And then on the other side, we're going to get 24, for which then if we divide both sides by 3, I will write it out just to be explicit here, we end up with q is 24 over 3. That is q is equal to 8. Uh, so we're going to have 8 quarters or I should say Alexi has eight quarters. We didn't steal it from him, I hope. Uh, and so then remember the total amount was 15, right? So if we take eight away from 15, that gives us the number of dimes, D equals 15 minus eight, in which case we didn't see that this is equal to seven. Now a story problem should finish up with a story solution. It, it's really just proper to do something like that. So let's type that up real quickly, in which case we would say something like Alexi with giant font here that looks embarrassing. Let's fix that. Uh, Alexi has eight quarters and seven dimes. Still, my font was crazy big. Sorry about that. It's what I get when I try to do this thing on the fly. But nonetheless, we, sh we should probably say something explicit. We shouldn't just say D equals seven, Q equals eight. We really should be like, there's eight quarters and seven dimes to be very, very explicit in our solution.